Hey girls, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Indy. And I don't really know what exactly it is that this channel does or shows, but here is my uh, skincare routine. Um, so everyone's been asking me a lot about like what products I use um, for my skin because, you know, I guess my skin's like pretty decent. Um, I used to have like trouble with acne when I was younger about like, you know, puberty age just because everyone kind of has acne around that time. But so yeah, I get really bad at like chest acne. I kind of still get spots, like red spots every once in a while. Um, and then, like, I had a bunch of acne, like, around my hairline and, like, on my nose and just, like, my T-section. But as soon as I, like, got out of puberty, like, that stopped and my skin's been fairly clear. But when I was younger, I did have eczema. And, like, that comes back every once in a while and, like, I'll get, like, dry patches. Um... But yeah, my skin used to be so, 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 so bad um, that I like had to go to the hospital for it because my skin was weeping so much, like my cheeks were always like raw and it was really bad. Like apparently when I was like a little kid, my parents would like have me in a stroller and they would walk up and people would come up and be like, oh my gosh, a baby. And then they'd like see my face and be like, oh God, like what's wrong with her? <laughs> so yeah, I had really bad skin when I was younger, but um, not anymore, because, yeah, I guess I just got lucky. Um, so, I don't really use any, I guess that's not true. So, I don't really have all the products that I normally use. I switch up a lot between the products, but I'm just going to show you a few of the favorite ones I have right now. I can do an alternate, uh, skincare routine if you guys want that. Or if you want, I can just like show you guys like my favorite skincare products or like whatever. Just let me know in the comments below like if you guys want to see more of the skincare kind of review stuff. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna get right into it. Uh, my like main thing that I use is this jojoba oil, and it's just from Desert Essence. And this thing lasts me about two months, maybe two, two months, sometimes less. Honestly, you could just use coconut oil. Sometimes, like, when I run out of this, I just use coconut oil. You can use tea tree oil. You can use pretty much any kind of oil. I really like jojoba oil because it, like, for me anyway, it doesn't work this way for everyone. But for me, it, like, really helps with, like, my acne whenever I do get acne. Like, I just put some of that on it and, like, wash it with that, and it really helps. That's also what I use for my makeup remover because it's oil-based, so it, like, works just really, really well to, like, get all the makeup off. But if you have oily skin, um, there is an alternative version, which I also recommend, and I use quite frequently, and this one is actually empty, <laughs> but... So this is jojoba cream. Focus. There we go. Yeah, so this is jojoba cream. And so basically this is like non-oil based, but <laughs> I've used all of it. Um, yeah, so it's like, seriously, just... Basically the texture of like... Um, hard coconut oil, kind of, a little bit softer, but yeah, this works really well for if you have oily skin, because this is not oil, it's oil free, it's just cream, and yeah, this is super good alternative for the jojoba oil, but either of these, this is what I use for my makeup removers, and just general, like, washing my face with, I guess, uh, yeah. So, here's another oil that is freaking amazing. Okay, so, as you may or may not know, my friend Danielle, she's also my roommate, she's my best friend. She's just recently started working at Nordstrom's at Beauty Counter, 
And so she's brought home a lot of samples that I've been able to try out and I'm super happy about. But so she discovered this one brand and it's called Clarins. And you can kind of focus. There we go. So yeah, Clarins. And so this is just a little sample size. But yeah, this is a face treatment oil and this, you literally just need like three drops. Three drops, rub it all over your face, like around your eyes mostly, any like problem areas. And it's like seriously like instantly better. Like I almost want to take all my makeup off and show you guys how fucking good this is. Um, it's really expensive, but a lot of people don't know if you just like go up to the counter, ask for a fucking sample, this will last you like a decent amount of time. So get a sample of this shit because, whoa, like favorite product of the year, hands down. Like this shit has just changed my life over the last week. And I feel like my skin has gotten like so much glowier. Like I literally put this stuff on when I have no makeup on and I just, I, it's seriously amazing. It's, get this. Okay, uh, let's see what else. I have to go in. So let's get into some face masks. Actually, no, I'm gonna show you my lip scrubs first. Because I do use lip scrubs every once in a while, especially if I'm trying to get the lipstick like this shit off, which will be. Later. But uh, anyway, so I usually, um, I've been using just the Lush lip scrub, and so this one's the bubble gum. Yeah, so this one's just the bubble gum lip scrub. It's super awesome. Like, I'll open it up and show you. It smells like really fucking good. Tastes pretty good too. It smells like bubble gum. Tastes like bubble gum. Whatever. It's just like sugar and oil, basically. Yeah. This stuff really good. Awesome. Love it. And then I just got another sample from, and this is from um, shit. What's it called? Oh yeah, this is Glam Glow, and I don't actually know the name of this lip scrub, but. I think it's new, and I will look it up and link it below for you guys. And I'm gonna link all of these products below because I'm awesome like that, so <clears throat> check below if you want to know what these are. So yeah, really awesome. It smells and tastes kind of like a margarita, uh, and yeah, it's just really good. I also have the buttered popcorn version of this lip scrub. And that also tastes really good. So I'm wondering what your lip scrubs to get. Those are pretty good ones. So now we'll get on to face masks. So we'll get on to like peeling masks first. So my favorite peeling masks currently are these three. These are also the only three that I have currently. I'm sure if I had more, then I would probably have more kids. Um, but yeah, so let's see. I got this one first, and this is just like uh, a black face mask. It's you've probably seen me wear it a few times, and it's super good. It's a little bit hard to peel off. You need to put like a really thick layer of it, and so like that can kind of get expensive since you do have to use like a lot of the product for it to work well. But when you do use a lot of product, it does work really well. It like strips away all your blackheads and stuff, like it really clears your skin up really well. And my skin always just feels so soft after I've used it, and it's just great. So, then this is from Origins, and, oh wait, I didn't show you guys this one close. This is from Bosnia, or Bos, Bos, Boskia? Bos, Bosnia? I didn't, how, someone tell me how to say that, I don't know how to say this. I, I always say it Bosnia for some reason. I want to add an N in there. Anyway, 
anyway. Bosnia. Bos Bos Bosnia. This fucking brand. They're amazing. I love them. They've reposted so much of my photos. I they're just great. Anyway. Uh here is Origins Peel Off Ginseng ma mask. And this one also works so well. Like, it literally feels like a chemical peel. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. It also burns the fuck out of your eyes. So, be aware of that. Like, it just has a really strong smell. Like, yeah, it's just, like, really strong. But it, like, it's really strong because it works really, really well. So... Yeah, your skin is literally, it's just so good. And you don't really need to use as much of this one as you do the other one, so that's also really helpful. And then the last one is by Glam Glow, and this is just like a really awesome, you've probably seen this like on Instagram and stuff. But, so this one is the Gravity Mud. And it comes with a little brush too to like apply it, which is really nice because it's kind of annoying to apply peel off masks with your fingers because then like, it gets really sticky. But so this is a firming treatment, and holy shit, it is very firming. It is very firming. Like it really works. It's really expensive. I think it was like sixty ish dollars, but sixty nine maybe. Oh my god, it works, though it's worth the money. So if you want to, like, splurge on, like, any kind of skincare stuff, get Glam Glow. Their products are just, like, fantastic. So there's some peel-off masks that I like to use. And then these are the rest of the masks that I have right now. I want this. So this is another Origins. And this is a rose clay mask. And it is, first of all, really pretty. Like, it's really, really pretty. And also, this packaging is amazing. I love Origin packaging. It's so pretty and just really cute. But it smells really good. Like, it smells like rose. And it feels, like, really good. It's, like, exfoliating, too, because it has a little bit of texture to it. And, um, yeah, you, like, harden it, like, you let it harden, and then you, like, scrub it off, and, oh my god, it makes your skin so soft. So this is also really good. And then, here's another, so this is, like, one of my other favorite, um, skincare brands. This is a, yeah, this is another one of my favorite skincare brands, and you've probably like seen photos of their products and their face masks because they're just really good. They're so good, and like I said, there was another one. I don't know where it went to. I like want it back, please. Uh, <laughs> it's me and Danielle like use so many face masks. Um. So I'll just go down them. I'll start with the first two are more um, along the same lines of like the chemical feelings or feeling, like firming kind of stuff. So this is a pumpkin, a pumpkin enzyme mask and it also feels like a chemical feel because oh my god, like it, first of all, smells like pumpkin pie. It's amazing. And you don't really need much of it at all. Like, I've used this about, like, five times. And... Yeah. It's really good. It... You literally need a fan, though, to, like, be blowing air on you. Otherwise, it really burns, like, a lot. It feels really good, though, if you're, like, hot and you want to cool down. You put this on your face and, like, blow a fan on your face. Like, just shut your eyes. Whatever. Just, like, chill. Being really good. So, yeah. If you use that plus a fan, awesome. I would recommend it. Okay. This is my favorite mask in the entire world. 
just because I am a princess and you will see why. So this is a 24 karat gold mask. Oh, also it's Peter Thomas Roth is the brand. But yeah, so this is the 24 karat gold mask and it's a firming mask and it works really well. It, I would say it's like about equal to this as far as firming goes. It's also like just different stuff. It's also really hydrating and it smells really good. It's really pretty because it's fucking gold so obviously it's pretty. But yeah, it's really, really pretty. I love this. I just love it so much because who doesn't love a gold face mask? Um, okay, so then this is the Cucumber Gel Mask, and this is so, so nice if you have a sunburn. Like, yeah, yeah, sunburn on your face, put this on. Or any kind of burn, any kind of, like, irritation, this is, like, a lifesaver. Um... Yeah, I usually put this on like after I use one of the like really strong face masks that like peels the fuck out of your skin. I usually put this on or I'll put on this one, which is the Rose Stem Cell Mask. And this is pretty much the same as this. It just, I don't know what it does differently exactly. I haven't like noticed the difference between them. Um. They just kind of smell different. Uh, this one is slightly more like hydrating, I guess. It's like a little bit thicker. But yeah. So all four of these, all four of these ones came in a set together. It also came with a black one. Don't know where it went, once again. But these came in like a little gift set from Sephora. And I think it was like $45 for all of these, which is like really fucking good because if you get the full size of this one by itself, it, it'll cost you around like 90 bucks. So yeah, get the sampler pack because I don't think anyone uses that much face mask that you need that much. Like go just get a sample pack and then get another sample pack because then you get, I feel like you just get a lot more product. So after I do all of that, I, whatever, I do pretty much the same routine in the morning as I do at night. So I start off with one of these babies, whatever, you know, and then I do one of these kind of masks, the peely mask, and then I do one of these other masks, you know, one of these, er, sorry, one of these, <laughs> um, you know, to just really fuck with my skin a little bit more. Then I put on, like, one of these guys, I'm like, let this sit for a little bit, then I'll wash it off, then I'll come back, and I'll put some Clarins on, and so yeah, I usually finish in the morning with this. And if I'm about to go to sleep, then I will put on a sleeping mask. And right now, these are the sleeping masks that I have. Two of them are from Sephora. And this is anti-fatigue and energizing pomegranate one. And then this is a mattifying and anti-blemish. And it's a uh, green tea. So yeah, these ones are really good. I've always had like really good experience with Sephora's sleeping masks. I really like them. There's not much of this one left. <laughs> but yeah, I just put these on a little bit before I go to sleep. Or I will use this one from Fontia again. And this is a uh, Focus. There we go. Yeah, and so this is a deep hydration sleeping mask, and it smells really good, and it works really well. It's like super hydrating. It's just like, it's just like a nighttime lotion thing. You like wash it off when you wake up. It just makes your skin really soft. Good feeling. Um, 
yeah so that's like all the products that i've been using on my skin right now because that's all i have if you guys want me to post more or different skincare stuff let me know below um if you have any other products that you think i should try out then link them below i will link all of these products in the description below and i hope you guys had a nice day and i will see you in the next video thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more and also don't forget to follow me on the rest of my social media because i am lazy and i'm trying to upload videos as much as i possibly can but i'll get better at it otherwise bye guys hey girls how's it going um fuck <laughs>